Hey everyone, Jason here, aspiring entrepreneur dealing with technology troubles. For some reason, my phone that I'm using right now did not record or save the first part of the vlog yesterday, so I'm just finishing up editing it for you, and we'll dive into the actual vlog and the one thing, but what I wanted to talk about before we dive into the one thing that's gonna push your business forward is to actually ask you to pause this vlog very quickly and go ahead and comment below with your YouTube ads questions. I got a lot of positive feedback on the YouTube ads videos that I've done in the past and a lot of questions on, okay, can you just do a video where you do everything A to Z? And so that's what's coming up in the next couple of weeks, but I need your questions in order to make sure that it is the best YouTube ads tutorial possible to set you up for success because it's a massive opportunity. So go ahead and pause the video right now, comment below with your YouTube ads questions or your just general AdWords questions. I'm going to be putting a lot of time into this, so I wanna make sure that it answers all of your questions so you can capitalize on the amazing opportunity YouTube ha ads has, YouTube ads have for you. So with that, let's go ahead and dive into the actual vlog and talk about that one thing that's going to be pushing your business forward right now and years to come. And this one thing applies to every single business, irrespective of your niche, your industry, your social plan, your content plan, your paid traffic plan, all of those are ancillary to this one thing. And the one thing is your skill. What makes you uniquely different than everyone else? What is something that your product or your service or you as the influencer can do that other people can't? Now, if you don't have something definitive yet, that's okay. You know, I always start these vlogs with aspiring entrepreneur because I'm working towards that. That's, it's okay to be working towards that. It's important that you either have it or you know what it's going to be because you're actively working on that skill so you can be the best in the world. Just to give you an example, I'm gonna talk about Shopify and drop shipping. But instead of going through current examples, I'm gonna rewind the clock a little bit and go way back to 2003 or four when I was in high school and my dad took me to this seminar that was about selling products on eBay. Now, what I had been doing is I had been going to local stores like Big, Big Lots and Crown Books, if you guys could remember Crown Books, and purchasing products that I knew I could mark up and sell on eBay. It was working pretty well, and you know, uh, 50 or $100 a week for a high schooler is a lot for just selling stuff online. And so I went to this seminar, and I sat in, I was in a, I put on the only nice business casual outfit that I had, right? I was sitting with people three or four times my age, and this presenter was standing up there talking about drop shipping and how wonderful it is. And there was something that was just bothering me the entire time. The entire time I was watching it, it was bothering me because I was looking around at this room of 500 people or so. And as a 14 year old, I was, ask, I was asking my dad, what happens if everyone tries to sell the same product? Because of course they were talking about niching down. They said they had so many products, it wasn't gonna be a problem. So fast forward, what did I do? I went home, I looked up the name of the drop shipping company, and lo and behold, every single product that I went over to eBay to search was already there, and worse yet, it was three or four listings of the exact same product because they were just touring the entire United States doing this. So I was probably three or four months late to the party, and so there were a bunch of people already listing it. And so the problem was that the only way that these people could compete was on price, but they all had the same price and they all had the same shipping. So some people were getting really creative and others were just listing the exact same product at the exact same price, hoping they might be chosen over someone else. And so I share this story because the problem with the seminar and the problem with those listings is there was nothing different about the product. It was the exact same product. It was the exact same service. There was nothing to differentiate other than price. And so if you are in a business, if you are offering something that is really just the same as everybody else, like maybe instead of a red table, you're selling a blue table, but it's still a table, then you're in trouble. And so this doesn't just apply to eBay sellers or what drop shipping stores are and Shopify stores are doing right now. Sure, they have a little bit of an advantage because they're not all on one eBay listing page, but you still have multiple sites selling the exact same product from the exact same AliExpress lister, and it's just not a good long-term business model, right? This isn't, that isn't gonna work long-term. So even if you're not selling physical products, I'm just using this as an example, if you're doing a service or you're doing a digital product, you're trying to be an influencer or you're selling a digital course, what is different? You really have to hone in on what is different and how is it actually better? Yes, you can sell inferior products. Yes, you can sell inferior services, 
but I'm not here to help you just make a quick buck for a few months and then burn out, right? I'm here to help you build a business that's going to be sustainable long term. And the only way to do that is to figure out what your one thing is, what is your one skill that you're going to be one of the best in the world at. Okay, maybe you don't have to be the Michael Phelps of whatever you're doing. It's okay to be in fourth or fifth place, but you still want to be in the, in the top 10 in the world at least. And if you're not there, work towards it. For me, I'm still working towards it, right? I always start with aspiring entrepreneur because I'm actively working towards it. And that self-awareness is really important to understand what you're really good at and what you're not going to be really good at. And even if your product or service isn't there yet, that's okay. Just make sure that you are focused on what eventually you're going to be the best in the world at, what eventually your product or service is going to be known as being the best for, and you are definitely going to win. All of the marketing, the social media content, your organic content, that all becomes super easy when you have an amazing offer or an amazing product or service that is legitimately better than everything else that's out there. Anything short of being better or the best of your competition, and you're just gonna be stuck down here forever with the rest of us aspiring entrepreneurs trying to claw our way out. So I'm definitely not in the top 10 of anything yet, but I am working my ass off every single day to be. And I hope this is inspiring to you and hopefully helps you bring some self-awareness to your business and your skill set, figuring out what's the skill set that you want to be the best in the world at. Even if you're selling a physical product, you still have to be really good at something because you're the master and commander of your ship. So it's time to decide. It's time to choose. So I hope you found this helpful and somewhat inspiring, just bringing some self-awareness to figure out where in your skill set that you should really double down on and what skill sets you should probably not spend a bunch of time trying to develop and just have someone hired to do that, which is something that I recently did. Hired someone on Upwork today to fill a spot that I realized, eh, I, I don't need to be the best in the world at that. I should just focus over here. So go ahead and comment below if you have any questions or feedback on this little rant of the one thing and focusing in on that one skill. If you have any YouTube ads questions, because I'm on a quest to be one of the best YouTube advertisers, go ahead and comment in the comment section below with your YouTube ad questions. I wanna make sure that that YouTube ads tutorial just absolutely knocks it out of the park and helps all of you be successful with YouTube ads because it is an amazing opportunity. It's not gonna last much longer, so I want to get all the information out to you so you can start capitalizing on it before the ad costs go back up. So thank you again so much for watching. Hit that like button, comment below, and as always, keep building the business you love. Take care.